you WTF today, right out of uh, Columbus, Ohio today. You got some crazy people in Ohio. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. Um, call them the Knights of Knitting. One evening each month, the Wonder Knit Shop in Columbus, Ohio, holds a men's only knitting night. Shop owner Libby Bruce said she has as many as 15 guys attending her knitting circles. She adds a, she adds a range in age from college students to older men, both gay and straight. Bruce told the Columbus Dispatch the guys appreciate the chance to socialize and practice their hobby. <laughs> and Bruce said that that men knitting are like are a lot like women knitting, except for a lot of swearing. <laughs> <laughs> do they have like a? Do they play fantasy knitting as well? Do they have a <laughs> special knitting hoop, teams? Hoop, hoop hoop twirl. And what would you swear at? I don't know. Could you, could you prick yourself or something? I don't know. It's Mess not like up. a needle needle. I don't know. I probably I just, get, it's more probably frustration. I suppose. <laughs> Knit one pearl to oh god, blank 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 oh, blank. Get it. Wow. Uh, your last WTF today. We've got a bunch of them, so I got to get them out. Okay. Out of Worcester, Massachusetts. A lot of people call that place Worcester, but it's Worcester. Worcester. A Massachusetts man who stole a hot dog from another man sitting under a tree in a park has been sentenced to 18 months in prison. Antonio Judd pleaded guilty Monday in Worcester Central District Court to charges including larceny from a, per- from a person. Police said Judd grabbed the hot dog in August after flashing what appeared to be a gun in Elm Park in Worcester, New England's second largest city. <laughs> yeah. Police reports say Judd began to devour the hot dog, spilling mustard all over his shirt. Oh, my God. They say when he was arrested later, he was carrying a pellet gun and a pocket knife. Records show that Judd has been sentenced to prison at least three times for offenses, including assault and vandalism. Is it really worth going to prison over a hot dog? <laughs> Give me that hot dog. That must be some dog. Give me back my fly fish. Give me that fish. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, not the same? No. Yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Give me back my ballpark. Give me my ballpark. I'm going to print least, that one out. At least have, have, some, York, have some dignity and, um, like, rob somebody with a gun and then use that cash to buy a hot dog. You don't just go to prison over a hot dog because those men oh. in prison will eat you alive. <laughs> like, like a hot dog. 